hey guys we are officially in the depths of winter right now oh it's getting chilly out there we are heading even deeper into the mountains in switzerland and the weather forecast for the next couple of days is dropping drastically we are moving down into the negative double digits and we're looking for somewhere to hunker down for the next couple of nights I can't imagine what those guys are seeing right now. Probably like when we did the hot air balloon ride. Oh, it must be freezing up there actually. It's cold down here. <laughs> and I know they're in control, but look at the way they're like spitting down to the oh, ground. It makes me feel queasy just looking at it. Whoa, you can hear him. is that for a campsite view? This is what 40 francs gets you a night here in Lauterbrunnen. <laughs> How satisfying is that? Lauterbrunnen. <laughs> I, I love like it. You've got to say it that way. We've even got a little stream behind us as wow. well. We've got waterfalls up here on the cliffside. We've got view of the valley behind. It couldn't be any more perfect. This is the perfect place to hunker down for a couple of nights just to try and see out the cold. While Emma is getting the van ready, it's my job to go and find some firewood. And I was told when we checked in that there's free firewood provided by the campsite just down here. And I don't think I've ever had a fire in the snow before, but with the temperatures getting down so low, it seems like the perfect thing to do is we don't necessarily want to be huddled in our van the whole night. And I can't really tire of looking around us here because <laughs> it's so bloody picturesque. There's some very simple chores on van life that just always make you so happy. Last year it was going to go and get some water from a lake with Adam from Jits into the Sunset and this time it's gonna go and get wood here in Lauterbrunnen. It's just uh, one of those moments that you take the time just to feel very lucky to be where you are. I've left Emma to do a quick tidy up for about two seconds. She's decided now we need to resort our whole life. Yeah. This drawer's been driving me mental since we moved back into the van because we haven't touched it since our last trip. And this, I don't even know how it all fit in there, but it did. So now I'm going through it all and getting rid of stuff we don't need. Well, this wasn't all in there. Well, from there upwards was. Yeah, so it might take me a while. So I don't know what you want to do to entertain yourself while I'm doing this, but <laughs> I'm doing it. I got back all excited to ready to start making a fire. Emma saying it's going to take ages to clean the whole van. <laughs> so now I think I'm just going to walk into the town and go and buy some beer or something. <laughs> just to kill the time. Do you want anything from the shop? Um, maybe some apple juice. This has to be the best ever beer run I've ever done. And it's really reminded me a lot here of Yosemite. And I know I sound extremely pretentious when I'm <laughs> able to compare these things to like Yosemite, but it really is. Something that's really interesting as I'm walking along is you can hear the ice crashing down from the top of the mountains. And when it does, you get this thunderous roar throughout the valley. I'm not sure we can hear that. As soon as you hear it, it makes you stop because <laughs> when there's a big one, it just rumbles through the whole place.
99% of the time I go for a beer run and Emma asks me to get something, I always forget to get that thing. So now I'm going over my head and doubting myself. It was just apple juice, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome home. Oh wow, this looks nice. Oh no. Is there anyone for... What's hey. just apple juice you wanted, right? Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank goodness. We now know why the wood was free. <laughs> it was soaking wet and unusable, but I have a very nice ice cold beer and my lovely love has made me and us, the three of us, <laughs> a very nice laxa soup, very warming, no need for a fire. Making soups in the van is definitely one of my favorite things to do in winter to keep warm. I find that no matter how horrible and cold it is outside, if you have a lovely hot soup to come back to when you come in, it warms you right up and you feel very cozy and at home. It's probably the best one you've made yet. Do you know why? Because it came from a packet. <laughs> <laughs> the spices came from a packet. We just want to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Blinkist. Blinkist is an extremely handy app which helps you to understand the most important things from over five and a half thousand non-fiction books and podcasts, which you can listen to via audio or read via text. I've been using it at the gym recently, which I absolutely love, because I can listen to about three or four Blinkists during a session. So this is the equivalent of consuming three or four books or podcasts in that short time. One that we've been listening to recently on our long drives is called Atomic Habits by James Clear, because we are always trying and failing miserably at creating new good habits. Through this book, we have learned that once you understand how habits are formed, it makes it way easier to hack the habit forming process. For example, habit stacking where you add a new habit on top of an old habit that you already do for example every morning I have a coffee so while the kettle is boiling I try to pair it with something that is more productive so for example it could be cleaning the kitchen putting away the dishwasher or for me I actually like to go and try and get my steps up so I will just pace around like a madman <laughs> <laughs> in the name of productivity if you're interested in this title or any of the other thousands of titles that Blinkist offer, you can get 25% off Blinkist Premium and enjoy two memberships for the price of one. Start your seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description box. Good morning, sleepy pants. Mmm. So sleepy. How did you sleep in the crazy cold? really well i was actually really warm last night if anything too warm yeah, i was too hot <laughs> we have the diesel heater for the van which heats up the van in like two seconds it's so so good we had it installed like a year ago the diesel tank of the van it just it all hooks up together so you don't even have to think you just switch it on to whatever temperature you want and it just heats up the van it's fantastic Ignore all the mess. But it comes out of here. We've actually turned it off this morning because it's too hot. But you can probably put it back on now. So you can choose the temperature here. And you just turn it on like this. And now it's producing heat. And just for reference for how cold it is out there. <laughs> So it's actually snowing right now. It was minus 11 overnight. 
and you can see I'm warm enough to be in my pants. <laughs> Today has easily been the coldest day of our van life trip so far. So we've actually spent the whole day here in the warm of the camper van binge watching a TV show. It's been so lovely actually, just hunkering down and hiding away. And I get the odd days where I just feel tired and fatigued and I don't want to be out and about, especially when it's absolutely freezing out here. But we've just realised that we've only got about an hour or so of light left and we thought it would be nice to actually go and get some fresh air. Otherwise we're going to be in there for the whole 24 hour period <laughs> and it is a lovely space to spend a lot of time. But I don't want to end up hating it. sand in the bed, it's snow in the bed. <laughs> the great thing about our diesel heater is we can set a timer for it to go on. So we turned it off when we left the van and then it went on about an hour ago. So when we've come back, it's nice and toasty and warm. Oh, it's lovely in here. It's such a nice <sighs> cozy space to come back to. Oh, that's me for the night. I'm not going back out there. I Absolutely feel like I can't feel my face. <laughs> Out there. All the taps here are frozen over. I love winter van life. Especially when the sun's out. But I think this is my favorite <laughs> form of van life because when it is horrible outside like yesterday, all you need is those basic human needs like stay sheltered and warm, well fed. Yeah. That's it. That's true. And it is just nice like with the point of being getting warm always. You go for a walk, you get cold, you stop somewhere for a hot drink. You go for a walk, you get cold, you start somewhere for a nice hot drink. It's just <laughs> repeat that again and again it's and it lovely. doesn't get boring no it doesn't <laughs> i mean it might get boring on video but it doesn't get boring in real life it's just so cozy and nice <laughs> like every season when the weather is good you have to pounce mm. and make the most of it so today is an absolutely beautiful wonderful so nice. day so we're gonna go out and find some things to do So the weather changed kind of as soon as we left Lauterbrunnen and came a little bit down the valley. The weather changed and it hasn't cleared up all day. No. We found something very, very exciting that we're going to do tomorrow morning that we cannot wait. Until then we found a great space nearby and we are walking now into the town. Look how ridiculously picturesque this looks. It's so cute. It kind of just juts out onto the lake like the main bit of the town and it just looks so picturesque and pretty and quite different from all the other little towns around. We're not really sure if there's anything to do here because it kind of feels like we're walking through people's gardens. Yeah, it feels like a neighborhood. It's weird, you come to a place like this and you're like, who lives here? It is <laughs> Just rich people, I imagine. But in the middle of nowhere. Look at this, imagine having your garden here. <laughs> How much would you have to be paid to get in that water? 
Absolutely not. You're trying to give me thumbnail and title ideas, aren't you? <laughs> Absolutely not. My biggest fear whenever we leave the van for a while is just to come back and it being ransacked. And every time I come back and it's not, and it never has been, <laughs> so much relief. When we go out, we do try and take most of our valuables with us whenever yeah. we leave the van anywhere for that exact reason. But we can't carry everything. No. But today's another good day. Yeah. That was the coldest night so far. Oh my God, it was, the diesel heater was working overtime last night. Big time. But there is no better way to start the day, like I always say, than having a hot tug in the morning. <laughs> and that is exactly what we're about to do. For the people that haven't clicked off this video, what the hell is a hot tug? <laughs> a hot tug is a little tugboat, which is actually a hot tub. Welcome to the hot tug boat. <laughs> Look at this guys, we are in an alpine lake here in Switzerland. We've got a wood burner here to keep all the water warm. We've got Captain Emma steering us around. I don't know what I'm doing, I keep going the wrong way. Well I mean as long as we stay in the middle of the water we'll be fine right? Yeah. I feel as though I should probably address the fact that I'm in a hot tub whilst pregnant because lots of people seemed very concerned when we were in Japan in the onsens and I just want to assure you that I'm following all the rules that were set out by my medical provider and that was to not get into water that's too hot i.e. over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or to stay submerged for too long. So I will be taking regular breaks and getting out, sitting on the edges. And also this water is less than 100 degrees. So they provide us with a speaker so we can listen to uh, copyright free music for you. <laughs> We've brought our own drinks because it is only 10 a.m. But they do provide, if you want, beers and Prosecco and all those kind of fun stuff. Which this would, yeah, I think this would be such a great like party boat with friends yeah. if you were here with a group of you I think and you had we a few saw, beers. We saw yesterday maybe about eight people on one of these. Yeah. And it looks so fun if you were partying and obviously you weren't pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and you can actually get out and swim in the lake and yeah. go in between the two. There's a ladder on the side of the boat. So if you're into the extreme change in temperatures, which we very much are not, <laughs> you can jump out into the lake. And I come thought back in. he was joking when he's like, oh yeah, if you want to get into the lake, here's the uh, here's the ladder. Like this time of year, get into the lake. Are you mad? <laughs> it's like four degrees in there. <laughs> Absolutely not. We were just trying to survive van life in crazy sub-zero temperatures. Now I feel like we're thriving in van life <laughs> and we have mastered <laughs> van life. You know next video we're gonna be snowed in. <laughs> well, this is the life. I think something that is also worth mentioning is that this time of year, boats are not allowed on the lake, which means that the beans are the only people out here today. I haven't seen anyone, any no. other boat, kayaking nothing it's no. just us you can do winter kayak tours here they were all booked up we have checked unfortunately but we haven't even seen kayakers it is literally just us out here i think our final conclusion on how to survive winter van life is to get a diesel heater for your van first of all and second of all get a floating hot tub <laughs> on a lake <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but honestly, we've had such a lush week in the snow and we absolutely love traveling in the van in winter. We will be continuing our journey through Switzerland for a couple more videos, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And don't forget to leave us a comment 
Does van life in winter seem like something you'd like to do or would you just rather stick to summer? And would you do this? <laughs> and obviously you'd do this. Surely everyone Surely. would do this. <laughs> and nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and in an alpine lake. Who would have thought? Beans out! <laughs>